We've had a fantastic victory here at the Perth Magistrates Court today. Uh, Perth activist Kamala Emanuel was charged with failing to comply with a move-on notice and her actions have been 100% vindicated by the court today. She's been acquitted, she's been found not guilty and the reason is that the, when the police issued that move-on notice it was an invalid move-on notice, they had no lawful grounds to issue that move-on notice. This move-on notice was issued uh, last year at a protest by, uh, by the police and, um, I, and I didn't comply with it because uh, because I didn't think it was right and the, the magistrate has upheld that it wasn't validly issued. One thing that happened at that rally was that the Perth City Council tried to move in and close down the rally. They tried to uh, seize people's banners and tables and whatever else. A very important finding by the magistrate in this, court, in this case today was that when the, Perth, when the Perth Rangers were seizing the banner which led to this arrest, that wasn't, they had no, had no legal authority to do so. They were acting improperly when they, when they moved in to seize that banner. The, the magistrate found that it wasn't actually, the, the council officer who was seizing this banner was not within their rights to do so. The, the seizure of that banner was what led to the arrest of Kamala Emanuel and subsequently uh, the police decision to, to issue her a move on notice. And again the court was very clear in its finding that that move on notice was issued with no reasonable grounds. Police had no reasonable grounds to issue that move on notice and for that reason Kamala Emanuel has been 100% vindicated and has been found not guilty. We actually believe that this, the police use these move-on notices in a much more, widespread, much more widespread basis than what is warranted. They use unfairly against Aboriginal people, against homeless people, against all sorts of members in the, in the community, and also they get used against uh, activists and protesters. And it's, we're calling on the police to, to pull their head in and stop this unfair use of move-on notices. Another point that I think is uh, important to make on, a, on an occasion like this, uh, when this legislation was brought before Parliament, we understand that the Minister at the time said it was not to be used, move-on notices were not to be used in protest situations. Now police have abused that power in this case and they've abused that power in other cases as well. So we're actually calling on the government to change the legislation, get rid of move-on notices. As soon as you give police a power like this, they're going to use it and they're going to use it unfairly. It's happened time and time again that police use the powers they've been given unfairly and for that reason that we're calling on the state government to get rid of move-on notices altogether. And uh, so we're actually, the other thing that we're saying is that Perth activists should come away from this decision with raised confidence that, it's that we have got the right to protest, we've got the right to hold up banners, we've got the right to, uh, to get our message out there and, and, and people should, should have the confidence that uh, they don't need to uh, uh, bend at the first, um, the first abuse of authority by a, a Perth City Council Ranger or the police.